Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I decided to show you guys the best, absolute best concealers from the drugstore. And I showed you guys different concealers for different concerns because I wanted to make sure that you all could find a favorite in this video. And I actually also applied it on my face, each one of these concealers to show you guys a little demo and coverage and all that jazz. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. All right guys, so let's get into it. I'm really excited to do this video because I have been hinting at it the past couple of videos and all of you guys have been commenting, yes, do a favorite drugstore concealers. I have been obsessed with concealer forever and this past year I have tried so, so, so many concealers and I brought it down to one, two, three, four, four, Five. My top five favorite concealers, and I actually wanted to show you guys which ones are good for oily skin, which ones is good for uh, less heaviness, more coverage, things like that. And by the way, the sponge that you're gonna see me use throughout the video is called the Look Chic Sponge. This is only $6. I will link it down below. It has been my go-to sponge for a couple weeks now. It is the softest, bounciest sponge, but also the shape, it has the like the straight line, which is really good for baking, and also the point side, and it's really long. So I just really like it. Um, I figured I would give it a shout out because I don't know if you guys have heard of this or not. So I have a lot to show you guys, so let's just get right into it. I'm first gonna start out with one of the OG concealers that I still think is fabulous. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. If you're wondering, I do have the shade 122 Sand. By the way, it does come with a sponge applicator. I find it very easy to use. Um, um, obviously a lot of people don't like it just because of sanitary reasons. So the reason why I love this concealer is because it really does uh, erase your under eye circles. And what I love about it is that it has such a thin, thin consistency. So you actually do get a lot of coverage with a little bit of product. This concealer I think is awesome for everyday concealer because I will say it's not the fullest coverage concealer but it does give you medium to full again with a very very light layer so it's not heavy under the eyes and also since it is not heavy but it is very pigmented these are really really good to cream contour cream bronze if you really want to get into cream contouring and bronzing this would be a good one um, because it's not scary it's not super like emollient or anything like that where you put a line and then you start spreading it out all over your face like this is such like an easy product to use. This concealer is a natural finish that's so not gonna be super dewy or super matte. So that's really good for really any kind of skin. And I also feel like this would be a really good spot concealer because again, you're not adding so much heaviness to your skin. You could use it as like just concealer and foundation or you could also use it on top of your foundation on like blemishes and it'll add that little bit of coverage without adding a so, so much product. If you have a lot of fine lines, you also might like this because again, it is a very thin consistency and the thicker and heavier the product is, the more it's gonna um, you know, sink into those lines. So I really think that this would be awesome for those who don't like a lot of heaviness. Also, if you're a little bit older or you just have a lot of fine lines, this might be really good for you. And again, for cream contouring and bronzing, I really think that you're gonna love it. It is $9.99 and it does have 0.2 fluid ounces. It's awesome. Okay, so the next concealer we're gonna talk about is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is a beautiful concealer. It actually looks a lot like the packaging from the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And for a while, I really felt like this was the closest dupe to the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. It's pretty liquidy. It's not, you know, like very runny or anything like that, but it's just not super thick. It's very liquidy. A little bit goes a long way. It applies beautifully. It's so, so easy to blend out. And it also gives you medium to full coverage. A little bit of this goes a really long way. And I think it's really nice. It's more of a natural finish as well. Something cool about this as well is that it's waterproof, so if you really need something that's like water resistant, definitely try this out. It's a really beautiful concealer. I actually, it's funny, I really do like it and I loved it until I found something that I love more, but I do think that this is a great concealer, especially if you just want a really creamy, super full coverage concealer. This is a good one. Again, it is more of a natural finish and I really feel like for the everyday normal skin 
kind of person that wants full coverage, I really feel like this one's for you. Because I do have a couple other concealers that are fuller coverage, but they have a little bit of more different finishes. Again, this is a natural finish, so I feel like if you don't really know which one to get and you want full coverage, um, this would be a good one right off the bat. This concealer on the Milani website is $8.99. And by the way, I do have the shade 130 Light Beige. So that was my favorite for a while until I found a new favorite and it is this one and I'll tell you guys why this is my favorite and if you're not new to my channel you probably already know. By the way I have the shade medium sand and this is the difference. So this to me the consistency now is a closer dupe to the Too Faced Born This Way concealer except it doesn't have as much coverage. I do notice that with this concealer I do need to apply a little bit more product. I mean as you guys can see I'm already like kind of running out. But there's something about this concealer that just makes your under eyes look so beautiful. So this is more of a medium coverage. You can make it full with an extra layer. Um, it looks beautiful with or without powder. It is a dewy finish. I mean it is a hydrating finish so your eyes don't look dry at all and there's something in here that it's almost like a gel like consistency so your under eyes just look really plump. I've also used this just as foundation like I'll do it under my eyes and spot conceal and that's kind of all I have on my face and it works beautifully and it's also six dollars so you really can't get any better than that. If you're looking for the fullest coverage concealer then I don't recommend this but if you do like a medium sometimes full if you want a layer concealer that just looks hydrating and natural and healthy under the eyes, definitely try this. I don't think I would recommend this if you have super oily skin though because since it is it is so hydrating, um, it might break up on you. But I do have a concealer for you that's super full coverage and super matte. Moving right along, this concealer, this is going to be your Tarte Shape Tape at the drugstore. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and I do have the shade in 700 Sand Beige. Guys, this is really, really good if you want full, full coverage and a matte finish. This is it. For all my oily skin girls and guys out there who have a lot to cover, this is for you. It is so, so good. It honestly is just as good as Start Shape Tip. It's just a little more matte which um, that might sound crazy, but I have normal skin and this still works on me. I just like to use powders that aren't too drying. But this, if you wanna cover anything, this is what you go for. It's really beautiful. I will say the only thing is that it does oxidize, so definitely just go a shade lighter. But other than that, I do think it's so worth it. It literally takes away any blemish or under eye circle there is, and it stays on all freaking day. So at CBS, this is $11. A Target it's $7.89 and at Ulta it's $12 so really anywhere from the 8 to 12 range but I mean it's really really nice it has 0.33 fluid ounces and a little bit goes a long way they do have a lot of shades and a lot of different undertones and also the foundation that goes with this concealer is actually really really good as well if you are interested in a lot of coverage but just not as much matteness matteness you don't want it to be so matte and drying. Um, I do have the last concealer that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and it is this one. This is also a OG kind of concealer. This is from Maybelline, and it's called the Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. I do have the shade 30 Light Medium. So this is, I feel like it's one of the originals, like super full coverage concealers. I will say, I don't think it has as much coverage as the CoverGirl one, but I still consider this full coverage. It just has a little bit less, but it's also not drying. So that's the difference. Really, it depends um, what kind of under eyes you have. If you have oily, definitely look at the CoverGirl. But for the more normal to dry skin, definitely try this one. I will say it is a little bit on the heavier side, but if you don't mind that, if you would rather have heaviness with coverage, then definitely try this one. Uh, I will say the only thing I don't really like about it is that it does come in a squeezy tube. I personally don't like that. I prefer an applicator, but I guess I will say that is better for sanitation purposes. Sanitation? No, sanitary purposes. And this one retails on Maybelline.com for $8.99. So let's just take a little recap really quickly of all the concealers. This is 
Maybelline Instant Age Rewind is for my everyday wearers that don't like a lot of product on their face but still like a good amount of coverage and also bronzing and contouring. The Milani Conceal and Perfect is really like the all-around pretty good concealer and it probably will work with your skin type. Again, it is a natural finish, not too hydrating, not too matte, full coverage and nice and liquidy. Not as light as the Instant Age Rewind, but it's still more coverage. My dry skin girls and guys out there that just want a very healthy, beautiful looking under eye, but you will be able to give up a little bit of coverage to look super beautiful and plump, this one's the one for you. Oily skin to the rescue. Oily skin, a lot of blemishes, very heavy under eyes, or you just want to be a full coverage queen, then there you go. Again, lasts all day, super matte, oxidizes though, so make sure you one shade down. And remember, this is the, the sister, the not hydrating sister, but the more natural finish, still full coverage, but not as matte. So. Um, yeah, those are the best concealers. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Uh, let me know down below if you have any questions or if you guys just want to talk amongst yourselves about what your favorite concealer is, what has worked for you. I will list all these concealers down below as well as the shade that I am if you guys are wondering. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.